In this video with the Onking, I'm going to go over Achievable's test prep for USMLE Step 1. As a company that uh, is, is very advanced in trying to use new education technologies to help you study better. Uh, some of the things that they do, they have an expert uh, that helped write a lot of their content. Somebody who's been a tutor for Step 1 for a long time, has a lot of experience and understands what is in the exam. They've also incorporated spaced repetition into their product, which I think is something really cool. Uh, you probably all know me loving Anki. This is probably my favorite part. This is why uh, I wanted to do this video and support this business. Uh, they're also very efficient. Uh, it's very simple and gets right to the point without giving you extra details. And they have a really great mobile experience so that you can study anywhere. Uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and show you the product. First, I want to address how I came to learn about Achievable in the first place. Uh, I was actually contacted by their uh, co-owner who asked about promoting this, and I agreed to do so because uh, I like what they're doing. This is a small business. They want to simplify education. Uh, they're passionate about education technologies, and they're incorporating spaced repetition. Those are all things I think are valuable, uh, definitely things that I want to help promote. Uh, that's why I was willing to do this video. Uh, and along with that, they have agreed to provide a discount for people who are watching this video. So if you check the description, of this video, there is a discount spe uh, specific just for this USMLE Step 1 version of Achievable. All right, here we are in the Achievable uh, dashboard here for USMLE Step 1. They do actually have a similar setup here for other exams, uh, but this video I'm going to talk about step one since that's relevant to what I personally have been through, uh, having taken the exam, and it's probably one of the most difficult exams that there is. Uh, now you can see here when you get on the dashboard, there's the content side and there's the memory side. This is the spaced repetition side, it's very similar to Anki. I'll go over that in a second, but first I want to touch on the content side of things. So all of these boxes here represent uh, parts of the textbook, and it's a really simple textbook. I like how they've got this outlined. Uh, it's simple, it's easy, but also you can see when you're on here, it tells you how many minutes it's going to take for you to read whatever it is. And then green, you can see those are the ones that I have done. Uh, so if I go over to the textbook side of things here, and keep in mind, I could also just click this and uh, go next to next, but you're probably going to be lining this up with your med school curriculum. Uh, so if you're studying anatomy, uh, and let's say you're in the musculoskeletal system learning about upper limbs, you can click on that, and it'll pull this up here. And you can see this is a, a they've got fantastic uh, drawings here for the brachial plexus and, and overall really simple textbook. It's very simple here. Um, there's not extra data. You're not trying to like sort through some really heavy textbook. This is stuff that's uh, important just for step one and for the exam specifically. Uh, and you can see as I'm scrolling through this, I can get to the bottom here and click complete. Uh, if I were to click complete, that is going to add reviews. Again, we'll talk about that in a second. Those are reviews that get added to the spaced repetition side of things. If I go back to the dashboard uh, and then it's filled it in here. That's the upper limbs page that I just read, the six minute one right here. Uh, so that's that's basically the simple part of the textbook. Now another part of the textbook I want to talk about. We'll go back into another textbook section here. Uh, let's go to anatomy. Uh, I think what are we a musculoskeletal upper limbs this is where we just were. Um, now, like I said, this is pretty simple. However, learning everything from a textbook uh, and reading primarily, there may be some questions that pop up. Uh, one of the things they built in here is a discussion button. I can click that button. It will go ahead and open up a site here uh, for discussion. And you, you can see there's all the other exams they have. But I can click on here for step one. Uh, I could log in and create an account. And then I can ask questions. And the person who was the author of that page can actually help me. You can also help as a community to discuss things. Um, and just a really cool way of setting it up so that if you have questions about any of this, you can go ahead and ask. All right. So that, that's mostly the textbook side of things. You can see it's a very comprehensive textbook. Uh, covers basically everything you're going to need with USMLE Step 1. Now back on the dashboard here, another really cool part about the, uh, the, the, the textbook here is their searching. Uh, this is actually really, really powerful. I'm going to go ahead and search glycolysis, which is their uh, example just to show you. But when you search that, it has let this, uh, this decides what matches it the most. You can click on the fundamentals. Of course, glycolysis is related to gluconeogenesis, not necessarily the same thing. It's also related to bacterial growth and metabolism. Although, anyway, it's, it's a really good search uh, function that helps you quickly find what you're looking for. You can pull this up and you can see this is the fundamentals of glycolysis. So really, really handy here. Of course, you can go to the next and the previous and hit complete. All of that. All right. 
The next part I want to talk about, of course, the part that is most exciting to me because I do everything around Anki and space repetition is the space repetition part that is uh, within this video. Uh, now, here's the memory progress part here, and these are the reviews. Uh, there's a lot of cool things they've built into this. This is similar to Anki is using that space repetition interval method. They've tweaked the algorithm just a little bit. Um, and all of these boxes here, uh, as opposed to being, you know, how many minutes does it take to read? It's based off of the strength, how well you remember it and the number of items you can see there's a lot of items here whereas if I find this little one there there's just one item uh, my strength is not perfect on a lot of these because I just clicked through a lot of them but I'm gonna go ahead and click on this just to give you an example of what these are like um, now you can say how many questions you want to do you can also choose uh, if you have formula questions which there's not as many of them but if you do this is really cool it will switch up the formula and the values every time so it's essentially a different question every time you see it uh, and then you can also shuffle the questions which I think is handy so we uh, you know I'll, I'll choose let's do 10 uh, and go ahead and start you can also uh, with this button up here you can filter the questions I click on that you can see I can filter and let's say I just want to do questions on anatomy right now um, and then you can even go into this and say uh, I just want to do the questions on the musculoskeletal system that we talked about earlier in this video so I'm gonna go ahead and apply I will do 10 of those questions and they pop up so now you can choose you know which muscles are supplied by the axillary nerve uh, and let's say I click this one confirm I got it right awesome now if you wanted to know the explanation you click on that it'll give you the, uh, the explanation now this thing I think is kind of cool it's really not pertinent to you uh, like you're never actually gonna look at that and be like what does this mean but basically what it is is there's a different question every time you see it you're never it's not spaced repetition with the exact same question every time it's spaced repetition with a slightly different question it's testing this axillary nerve component making sure that you understand what it innervates but the question is not going to look exactly the same every time so just really cool fact uh, you also if you're like hey i need to learn more about this uh, i'm going to open it in a new tab you can click on the textbook and pop that open it will go to that section that we were learning about so that you can review that um, just really really handy and, and makes the full circle let's go back to the quiz here I'll click next of course you can just click through these I know oh I got it wrong explanation here very simple explanation so you can go through these quickly uh, again you can go to the textbook and what I'm gonna do let's go up here to my more tools and developer tools we're gonna I'm gonna show you what this looks like if I switch from a desktop view to a mobile view they have made this entire website so it's very mobile responsive even when you're like on this right here it looks it's really easy to use and very uh, you know the buttons are a little bit bigger and easy for your thumbs to tap um, but it works perfectly whether you're in mobile whether you're on desktop whatever it is I can go through click the explanation I can click the textbook um, uh, of course let's let's pop us back into the mobile view here there we go. Now we're in mobile view. You can see even the textbook looks really clean uh, and nice uh, so that you can use it simply whether you're on mobile, whether you're on an iPad, no matter what you're on, it'll, it'll, it'll be nice and easy to use. Uh, let's go back to the desktop view here. Uh, and then when you're all done with the questions, you click finish here. All right, so now, you know, you've been reviewing these questions and there's the spaced repetition part to it. Um, <clears throat> this is where the spaced repetition goes and they have set this up for like the true diehard spaced repetition people where uh, you know this is available at 5 a.m. this is available at 6 a.m. now you don't have to follow that exactly of course um, you know you could click into uh, you could you could do them early you can click on the review button and do them early but it, it helps you to stay on track uh, essentially the idea here is that you never are asking yourself what do I need to study next you're never asking yourself what do I need to review next uh, achievable is essentially taking care of all of that for you the author of the textbook uh, you can click on is, is the tutoring thing here they have a uh, it's actually a special connection with achievable you get a little bit of a discount with her but she helps to write much of the textbook uh, and Sujata here she's been a, a doctor for quite a while uh, she's also has thousands of hours of tutoring experience for uh, years and years has been working with step one uh, she knows what her stuff she knows what's on this exam and did a great job with it Last but certainly not least, this is the landing page if you want to go and check out a little bit more and learn a little bit more about the course. Uh, you can see it's very affordable here, especially considering that this uh, contains all of the material you theoretically need for step one along with the spaced repetition method. Uh, there's also some really cool stuff on here that just talks a little bit about uh, essentially how they've set it up. Uh, this is really cool, I think. the This is multiple schools that have vetted and approved this resource and, and it includes Georgetown and Duke. And in fact, the, the dean of the medical 
medical school at Georgetown read through the textbook and, and approved this. So it's been some people that are very, very smart, much smarter than me. I uh, think this is a valuable resource. Uh, and if you want to check it out, you can go ahead and click this peek inside button. It's kind of like the, uh, you know, uh, newspaper subscriptions when you look online and they'll let you see so many articles for free. Uh, there's not like you can only see the first chapter. You can go through and click any of these uh, and go ahead and see it. You can see you have uh, two more free pages. So you can go ahead and, and try this. Go look at a, a textbook page that you're studying right now and uh, see whether this would be helpful for you. Uh, other than that, hopefully this was helpful for you. I, I, I think it's a valuable resource that could benefit anyone. Thanks for learning with The On King. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here as well as follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Patreon. That is at OnKingMed. Also feel free to reach out via email or check out our website, OnKingMed.com, for more tips and tricks.